Hello, it's Bilbo here, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a source dedicated server because some people are not understanding the new method to update or installing new source servers. So, start heading to srcds.com, and I will only show the Windows server. So, select the Windows server, and you need to click the the blue direct link uh, from the Valve web server. Download the HLDS update tool from there. Uh, when it, wait until it's done downloading. Then after that, launch it and click yes for the administration permission. Click next. I agree. And here I have just called it source one because it sounds better than SRCDS. Don't like that. So I will call it source one. Click OK for that and click next. Next and it in install the basic files. I will select. Europe because I'm from Denmark. So next again, next, and I will uncheck the read the readme. Then finish. So you now have the the basic files for installing and CSS server. So head to your folder where you installed the basic files. Make a shortcut of your uh, HLDS update tool. I will rename it to updater. And then I will right click it again and select properties. Then head to your your uh, SRCDS website again and select the commands. Copy them and go into your properties and make a space after the, the, the destination and paste them in. And here where the SRCDS is, you need to change that to source one. Like we did before. Then click OK to that and minimize your internet and you will need to run the updater as administrator. So now it will check the bootstrap version and begin to download the server. That can take really long time. So when we're doing that I will recommend you to head to Google and search for CWAR Maker and select the first link to C Strike Planet and make the server settings. Name, iron password 1234. And I'm not gonna select any SV password because I don't want my server to have a password. I will enable the flashlight and I will reduce the time for for starting the game, the freeze time. I think it's too long to wait six seconds. So scroll hold down and it needs to be on LAN and internet because if you choose LAN only it will only go on LAN. So have LAN and internet checked or selected. Then I will select a robe again because I'm from Denmark and here you can write an email if you want. It doesn't matter. So here you have your whole config file. Select the whole config file and copy it. Then go to your desktop and make a new text document. And I have the txt after my document name. If it doesn't have that, you can go to a control panel and hit to your folder settings and go into view and the hide file type name for known file types will be checked. So it is uh, it is hiding the the .txt, but if you uncheck it and click OK, it will come. And then you just need to change it to server .shift. So now it's asking me about Are you sure you want to change the file type name? And I'm clicking yes. So now it's the .cfg file. So open your .cfg file and paste your settings. And close it again and make sure to click save. So now you have your server settings. So now we're just waiting for the updater <laughs> downloader. It will be done downloading the Counter-Strike source server. So I will pause the the video for now and I will return when the downloading is almost done. So see you later.